By species, Happy is an Asian elephant. But animal rights activists say Happy's life is not happy at all. The Non-Human Rights Project wants her moved from what it calls a one-acre prison at the zoo to a more spacious sanctuary, calling her the Bronx Zoo's loneliest elephant and her captivity much like a human being held in solitary confinement. The time has come to recognize and protect elephants' right to liberty and to consider non-human am animals as rights holders. The group also claims Happy is intelligent and that in 2005 she became the first elephant to pass a self-awareness indicator test by repeatedly touching a white X on her forehead as she looked into a large mirror. Smart enough, they say, that she should be considered a person in the eyes of the law, especially in New York State, where a person is not specifically defined as a human being. When we look at the right at issue, which is the right to bodily liberty, which protects autonomy, and happy is autonomous by scientific proof, uh, she should at a minimum have the same right as a similarly situated individual that also has autonomy. Happy was born in the wild, but she's been a resident of the Bronx Zoo for 45 years and much of the last decade in seclusion. Advocates want her released to a sanctuary, arguing that in the wild, elephants live in closely bonded families. But the zoo disagrees, arguing through their attorney that Happy is neither imprisoned nor a person, but a well-cared-for elephant respected as the magnificent creature she is. In yesterday's hearing, State Court of Appeals Judge Jenny Rivera appeared to question the NHRP's argument that Happy's right to bodily liberty is being violated. How can the court apply habeas when we're not talking about a human? The zoo and its supporters warned that a win for the non-human rights project could open the door to more legal actions on behalf of animals, including pets and other species in zoos. The court's decision is expected in the coming months. Craig Treadway, Pix 11 News.